Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video we're going to look at respiratory histology. The section that you see here is of lung tissue. Remember that the lung's job is to exchange gases between the bloodstream and the outside world or the air and the outside world. So what we see in a section of lung are compartments for air like these tiny alveolar compartments and this bronchus and this little bronchiole and then we see compartments for blood here's a larger blood vessel and another larger blood vessel I guess let's go on to a higher magnification um, this is lung tissue a hundred times magnification and we see alveoli and these little compartments are the alveoli individual ones are called alveolus and then this is a bronchiole up here a tiny little air tube Let's go to higher magnification. This is 450 times magnification, and we see an alveolus, an alveolus, an alveolus, and there's a labeled picture for all the little alveoli. Notice in the wall that it's a little bit red in appearance. That's because there's blood cells in here. These are capillaries in the wall. Those capillaries, of course, are carrying blood and exchanging blood gases with the air that's inside of the alveoli. Oxygen diffuses from the alveoli where it's at higher partial pressure. It diffuses into the bloodstream where oxygen is at lower partial pressure. And then inside of the blood that's in the capillaries, CO2 is at higher pressure than it is inside of the alveoli, higher partial pressure. So the CO2 diffuses from the bloodstream into the air that's in the alveoli. And that's the major job of the lung. Um, also in this image, by the way, we have another bronchiole. This is a little bronchiole. Let's go on to the next picture. This is a rat trachea. And you can see the cartilage that is keeping this airspace of the trachea wide open. The cartilage appears in a C-ring shape all the way, almost all the way around. And at the back, we have this area um, of muscle tissue, which is called the trachealis muscle. So in this image, we've got hyaline cartilage. We've got the trachealis muscle at the back. And then this purple line is respiratory epithelium. And at this level in the trachea, the respiratory epithelium appears as pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Here's the labeled image for a couple seconds. And remember that posterior tracheal wall? This is the trachealis muscle back here. Let's go to higher magnification and now we see that respiratory epithelium which again at this level of the trachea is pseudostratified columnar epithelium and we can see the cilia on the edge of it now. There would be mucus out here that would be moving up along the respiratory tract. On the right hand side of this image we see hyaline cartilage. This is the labeled image again with the respiratory epithelium which again at this level is pseudostratified columnar epithelium and again at the outer area we see hyaline cartilage. And we're back to the beginning. Um, another nifty thing, this is a bronchi or a bronchus and it's a bronchus because we can see cartilage at this level. See the little areas of hyaline cartilage here and over here. This one doesn't have cartilage around it and it's smaller so this one is actually a bronchiole instead of a bronchus. Just kind of a nifty thing to know. As always, if you have any concerns or questions, please, please feel free to contact me. And thank you once again for watching.